All right, so if you want the ultimate way to heat your garage, the number one pick is, here are the top seven ways to heat your garage this winter. Now, the first one really isn't a way to heat your garage, it's more of a way to keep your heat that you already have in your garage, and that's simply by adding insulation. So the biggest offender typically you'll find in a garage is the garage door. Now you can take care of this by buying an insulation kit for the door, and this is gonna vary in price between around $100 to $300, uh, just depending on the kit that you purchase and then the size of your door. Obviously, you're going to have to take care of any other insulation issues that you might have as well. So if you have missing insulation in the ceiling or in the walls, you're gonna have to budget for that and take care of those problems too. As far as heating your garage is concerned, the first option you have is to add a portable space heater. Now, while these certainly won't heat up the entire space, uh, they really are a great option if you're working in a smaller area, such as a workbench for projects. You can expect to pay anywhere from about $50 for a portable electric space heater that can kind of fit on a workbench, all the way up to you know a couple hundred for an infrared-based heater. Really, your budget here is going to be the biggest determining factor. The next step up from an electric-based space heater would be a gas-based space heater. So in this category, you have a couple different options. You can either go with a propane-based space heater or a kerosene-based space heater. The advantage that these have over an electric heater is it'll be able to heat a larger space than an electric heater would, and it'll also be able to do that faster. Typically though, they're rated for outdoor use only because they require a lot of ventilation in order to be able to get rid of the carbon monoxide. So by all means, always follow the manufacturer's instructions when it comes to these. And if you're looking for a gas-based solution and you're trying to find one that's as safe as possible, typically you'll find a lot more options in the kerosene gas that are rated for indoor use than the propane versions. So keep that in mind when you're trying to make a decision here. Now, if you're looking for a gas-based solution and you want one that's as safe as possible, I recommend looking at a direct vent solution. So these are gonna be installed in your garage and you're gonna have a vent that will run to the outside of your home and that's gonna allow it to have all the fresh air that it needs and be able to vent all the carbon monoxide out. The other advantage these have are you can typically find them in both propane-based versions and natural gas-based versions. So depending on what your needs are, you should be able to find a solution here. All right, so now we're in the top three, and honestly, number three is probably my favorite option. So if you have the space for it, you could consider adding either a wood base or a pellet-based burning stove to your garage. Um, this would give you all the heat that you would need in your garage, and honestly, what's better than being able to get warm around a nice, roaring fire. So if you have the space for it, uh, this might be a really good option. Also, if your garage doubles as a man cave, I mean, what could be better than sitting around a nice fire with your buddies while watching the game on TV. And if you don't already have a TV in your garage, then maybe this is a sign that you should add that as well. Oh, and be sure to invite me over. Number two is adding a mini split. So a mini split is a really great option if you're in an environment where it's both hot and cold. So a mini split is actually a heat pump based system. So it's gonna be able to provide you heat in the winter and it's gonna be able to cool down that space in the summer as well. So if you are in an area like in the Midwest or somewhere where you have all four seasons, a mini split's gonna be a really great option for you to make sure your garage is comfortable to work in no matter what the season is and no matter what the temperature is outside. If you're looking at adding just heat only, you're still gonna have some issues. A mini split might be the best option for you because it's gonna give you the most flexibility in your garage space. Now you might also be wondering, well, can I just run a duct from my current HVAC system in my house to my garage so that way it's heated and cooled too? And the answer to that is no, you can't. Uh, there's a couple different reasons, but probably the biggest reason is from a safety perspective, you're gonna risk having carbon monoxide enter the home. And obviously we all know that carbon monoxide is a really, really big problem, uh, it can be deadly. So you wanna make sure that you have those two systems isolated so you don't run any risk of a safety hazard. If you want the ultimate way to heat your garage, the number one pick is radiant floor heating. So if uh, you're not familiar with radiant floor heating already, you can either use electrical coils that are put underneath flooring, so say tile in a bathroom, and what that will do is that will heat up that space from the floor up, so it's gonna give you a really comfortable uh, space to live and work in. The other option you have with uh, radiant floor heating is what's called a hydronic system, and that's basically tubes that are installed that has water uh, flow through them that's warm, and that'll warm up the space, again, from the ground up. So in order to install these, you're gonna have to get underneath the floor and specifically with a garage you'd have to actually get inside the concrete so because of that this is really only a good option for a new construction home uh, and not a retrofit option uh, because if you were going to install this in an existing home you'd actually have to literally jackhammer out all the concrete install the system and then pour new concrete in the garage 
uh, in order to have this installed, and that's really just not practical. Uh, but if you are looking at building a new house and you're looking for the best solution possible to heat your garage, you should really check out this system. So it's gonna cost you anywhere between uh, $2,500 to say around $5,000 just for the equipment. And then, you know, installation fees and all that is going to be on top of that. But if you're looking for the most comfort possible in your garage, then you should really look into this as an option. If you like this video, be sure to check out this other video here. I'm sure you're really gonna enjoy it. Okay, that's it for this one. I will catch you in the next video.